Good morning all and welcome to today's broadcast. My name is Pastor Abiodun Aribike of the Citadel of Impact, New Exte Baptist Church in Dusin, Abuja. What are your plans for this season? What are your plans for celebration? Remember, without Christ, there is no Christmas. You are not the celebrant. Don't do beyond your power. It is Christ that is the celebrant. Don't carry a headache that does not belong to you. Please, I beg you, stop comparing yourself with one another. It is not compulsory you travel. It is not compulsory you celebrate. It is not compulsory you have a party. What is compulsory is that Christ be found in your Christmas. And there's no recorded history that shows Christ throwing a big party because of Christmas. Don't steal because of Christmas. Don't prostitute because of Christmas. Christmas is not a time to lose your virginity. Christmas is not a time for you to be involved in sex. Christmas is a time to respect and honor Jesus Christ. May your celebration in this season bring honor and glory to the name of Christ. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, in this season, you will not commit unpardonable errors. In the name of Jesus, you will not be tempted into perdition. You will not be tempted into sin. In the name of Jesus, any temptation above your power, it shall not come near you. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to live your life for Christ in this season. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to move above comparison in this season. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to live within your means. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace not to borrow, not to beg in comparison with others. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to live your life in this season in the way that it will glorify the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, are you traveling this season? I commit you into the hands of the Lord. He will take you there safely. He will bring you back safely. In the name of Jesus, whatever will bring shame to the name of Christ, whatever you will do that will not bring pride to Christ, let it be taken away from your life. You will not do that. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to say no to anything that will bring disgrace to you, to your family, to your name. In the name of Jesus, what men are running her times scatter for in this season, I pray for you. Let the Lord divinely release them unto you. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to be humble, just like Christ in this season. Receive the grace for you to lay low for the glory of Christ in this season. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace for your light to shine before all men in this season. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let the Lord cover your defenseless head. In the name of Jesus, no calamity shall come near you. You will not be involved in any accident. In the name of Jesus, any trap set for you in this season, may the trap be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, anything planned against you for evil in this season, it shall not alight upon you. In the name of Jesus, you have heard me today. Next year, you are still hearing my voice because you will be alive in the land of the living, living the abundant life. In the name of Jesus, any arrow fired in your direction, let it go back to send them. In the name of Jesus, and the glory that the Lord created you with, let it manifest in this season. In the name of Jesus, every delay, let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, whatever have moved you from abundance to survivor, today, let it be reversed. In the name of Jesus, let the glory of the Lord be upon every area of your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We have been looking at the story of a wise man and how they ran after Jesus and how they found him. Let's look at verse 2 and verse 11 of Matthew chapter 2. They were saying, where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and we have come to worship him. We saw his star when it rose and we have come to worship him. Verse 11, and going to the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worship him. Then opening their treasure, they offer him gift, gold, frankincense, and mad. Wise men still worship Jesus. Are you too proud to worship God? Are you too proud to bow before him? The baby was in a manger. Wise men with gray hair, 
they bow down and they worship him. They were wise men. They were intellectual. They were the big people of those days. They were men of wisdom. They were men that interpreted dreams. They were men that have the power of God in their life. But they still bow down and worship Jesus. In this season, it's a season to bow before the throne of God and worship him for what he has sent, for the gift of Jesus into the world. What are you doing? Wise men still worship. Wise men still sing to him. Wise men still lift their hands to him. Wise men still kneel before him. Wise men still praise his name. What are you doing about Jesus Christ? If you are wise, you will worship him. Make this season a season where you concentrate on Christ and worship him. Not a season where you concentrate on your need and how to show off or what to do or how to compare yourself with others. Wise men still worship him. Another thing we discover is that the wise men gave gifts to him. Verse 11, going into the house, they saw the child with Mary's mother and they fell down and worship him. Then opening their treasure, they offered him gift, gold, frankincense, and man. Up to today, wise men still give to God. Wise men still give their offering. Wise men still give their of their substance to God. Wise men know that everything they are, including themselves, everything they are, and everything they have belong to the Lord, and they are readily available to give all what they have unto the Lord. Wise men worship him. Wise men give gift to him. What gift are you preparing to give to Christ this Christmas? The most important gift he wants from you is a gift of yourself. If you are not giving your life to Christ, what Christ wants from you is a gift of your life, your spirit, body, and soul. Give of yourself to him. Wise men still give gift to the Lord. They worship him. They give to him. And they taught him for us to know today is that wise men still obey Jesus. Verse 12 of Matthew chapter 2. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Wise men still obey Jesus. And they obey Jesus instantly. Wise men do not obey Jesus partially. Wise men obey God rather than man. Wise men obey God fully, not partially. They don't delay in obeying, knowing fully well that delayed obedience is also disobedient. Wise men, they were told not to return back to Herod. Immediately, they departed through another route. Remember, today, wise men worship Jesus. Wise men give gifts to Jesus. Wise men still obey the Lord. Wise men still worship Jesus. Wise men still give to Jesus. Wise men still obey Jesus. Who are you? Are you a wise man? Grace. Grace.